Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this rainy broadcast. Today, we are going to be hauling a couple of loads of gravel and hauling the excavator to our next job site. You guys come along. I love a good rainy day. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because rain makes money. It makes things grow, and it washes things away, i.e. gravel driveways, which I love. You can look for the negative in things, or you can look for the good. Obviously, I look for the good. As promised, I have my microphone on for you guys. I will get an extension so y'all don't have to watch this little wire hanging around all the time. I am very fortunate to have a well-rounded assortment of services that I offer. That way, just about any weather, I can work to some degree. Even on rainy days, there's a good chance we will have a couple of loads of washed stone to deliver. And we can even tailgate and spread that stuff. If it's raining, snowing, it doesn't really matter as long as it's not just froze into clumps even three-quarter old freeze into clumps if you've ever hauled gravel a lot you know what i'm talking about unless you're in mexico we're on our way now to get my baby boy wilbur the old ford l9000 dump truck because i didn't want to have to unload my excavator in the rain and unhook the trailer this is where having multiple trucks is handy but I can foresee having to sell one of them and get a either a tandem or a triaxle. I will probably just go with a short tandem because of the areas that I work in these short little super curvy driveways. And also, the longer your truck is, the more overhead clearance you have to have because you've got a longer bed and as you raise it up to tailgate, it goes higher and higher. That is a big factor and at this point i'm not sure if i'm going to sell wilbur and get a newer truck or get rid of the 750 at some point it's not something i'm going to do right this second i'm going to put a lot of thought into it wilbur's just a good old truck we put a lot of money into him and he's stout he's made for these mountains 750 is good but he it's just not wilbur I'm emotionally attached to Wilbur, and that ain't good. It's not good to get emotionally attached to your equipment. Let's go get Wilbur, get him warmed up, and go haul some stone. Ready. Let's check Wilbur's oil, kick the tires, and light the fires. See if Wilbur wants to work today. Every time. That's my baby boy. I haven't started him in over a week and it's about 39 degrees. He'll get it done. Okay, you guys be sure to comment for me. Those of you who have ridden in Wilbur before and let me know how much better, if at all, the sound quality is since I've got my little pin on microphone here. I wish I didn't have to deal with this. I can't even feel that cord hanging, but if I was watching this, I probably wouldn't like seeing a cord connected to my uh, host. You guys just let me know. I will be getting an extension for this cord so I can hide it a little bit better and it won't be getting in my way of grabbing my mic and shifting, grabbing the wheel, all that good stuff. So we're on our way to Grove Stone and Sand Quarry. Some of you may know it as Hedrick Industries if you're local. I've actually been getting a lot of messages from people local to the area. Let me know that they've been watching the channel and that they like or love it. And I really appreciate that. It's good to know I've got local viewers. Guess we better burn the headlights and markers while it's raining today. Man, fine day to work. Just start your day by being thankful to be alive. 
and then go from there. I had to add about a quart of oil to weld her today. If I run him real hard and steady for a full eight hour day, he'll push about a quart out. If I'm really pulling hard. There went the North Carolina Highway Patrol. Emma, my little girl, every time she sees one of them or a fireman or anybody that's an emergency service person, she will say out loud, thank you for your service. She makes a daddy proud. I'll sneak around behind you, Doug. Hopefully this microphone's working out good, guys and gals. Got a bunch of guys and gals and children watching this channel. That's why I keep it clean. I don't use profanity and such. Come on ahead there, big guy. Let's wait our time here. Somewhere between eight, eight and a half, Doug. Out of coffee. I don't know what I'm going to do. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. That feels right. Be nice if I had a defroster. That would just work. Let's try. Suppose it's better than nothing, huh? TTW2 pulling on the scale with three quarter. eight tons for the customer and you know what I'm only gonna charge them for eight tons because that's what they wanted yeah laying with it Cody I say you laying with it today or just hanging out, just hanging out. well you hold the fort down I'll be back in a little while snow piled up on the edges of the road down here. Uh, it ain't, hadn't snowed in over a week and we've had warm temperatures. They must have must have stayed cold over here. Plus that's north so anything north facing doesn't get sun this time of year so that makes a difference. Get the lower gear here. Alright friends let's see what we're dealing with here. This is, that's slippery. Not much gravel under that, but I think, 
I can back up to here where there's gravel and be able to get a run and go out of here. In general, my rule is I don't get off gravel or pavement if it's raining because I will get stuck every time. Every time. That's his little pole barn and he needs that gravel under. Of course, he's putting it there, not me. Y'all can see I put this gravel down not too long ago. Brandon delivered one load to this site, so let's just try it. Why not? I think we'll be all right. Ooh, that is slippery. <laughs> see that let's hope that doesn't happen shall we Wilbur don't fail me no another load and take it to our next job site and we're going to tailgate that spot and then I will show you around the excavation part that we'll be doing with our new tilt bucket. Let's get us uh, some material for this next job. We're going to need about 14 tons so let's just go ahead and get, let me go ahead and get 8 tons Doug. Just swung by the house to get a fresh cup of coffee, my measuring wheel, and my rake. Now we're gonna go get this first load of stone out and get that part of this job looking good today. That probably be all I get done doing this part. And then we get to do the fun part tomorrow, hopefully. I absolutely love it when I'm caught up on the schedule to where I'm supposed to be. I'm on schedule. I don't like to be ahead because that means that I'm running out of work, which hasn't happened in a while. But you're at that point on your schedule where you're relaxed, you're just easing along, things are going smoothly. You're not having many setbacks. These times are few and far between and when I'm in one of these times, it just doesn't feel much better. Beautiful. 
beautiful day. I lost my color. You must have been driving too fast again. Your blue truck ain't acting up on you, is it? No, I just got to come up here and watch this bed out. Oh, had you hauling mud, did they? You are making some money today, ain't you, buddy? Shoot, I'm just trying to catch one blow out the bed of your truck, old buddy. <laughs> when you gonna retire, just sell me that truck. Well, I probably will one of these days. You probably got a few years ahead of you, don't you? Yeah, probably so. Let's see here. Well, this is a short little truck. this part oddly enough it could use it though well, we're going to fix this up in front of the house first right. let's show you guys around the projects got my rake and my gravel you guys be sure to subscribe if you want to see this little project they don't I asked them about cutting this down doing a little retaining wall around the back he didn't want to do that just yet so i'm just going to scrape the grass off we're going to install i think a 12 inch pipe like that one down there right up through here and i may not dig that down too much and just fill in with road bond and make it a little bit you know just a good gradual turn in but that will be the next video Let's see what me and old Wilbur can make of this part of the project. I believe we're pulling gravel down to about where I'm sitting now. And I'm just going to tailgate it. So I'll be backing up to here. I've got 14 tons planned. We're just going to back up and pull tailgates out from right, right here, I'd say straight out let's see what me and old wilbur can do when i measured this project i did it measured 35 by 33 so we're going to go with a higher number and we're going to go 35 feet from where i can back up to straight out and there's some stuff laying around here i can use for a marker a point of reference if you will where my spreader apron on the back of my truck is to where I'm sitting in the truck is 12 feet. So I moved the chair 12 feet past where my apron's gonna end up being where I wanna stop the gravel at. That way I can just tailgate along and not guess where my apron is. I can just look straight out from me. And once I get to that chair, I can throw it in reverse, start backing up. Before I get that noisy truck up here, normally I will set my chains fairly loose to be able to have a lot of gravel coming out on a long stretch of road and I'll take off in usually about second gear and I'll really roll with it and make good time. When I'm working in a smaller area and I'm doing a lot of starts and stops, I set my chains almost as tight as they can and I will just go in low gear and I'll idle and it'll just barely put gravel out and it's a lot easier to do that because I can go forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, and every time I stop, it won't pile up a bunch of gravel before I can either get into the gear going forward or the gear going back. Each time you stop, that gravel's still coming out. 
and we don't want to have to rake anymore than we have to and on this job i'm just bringing the excavator which i'm not that great at spreading and smoothing gravel we don't want this gravel too thick because cars will spin in it and they'll sink and it's a little harder to walk on but we don't want it so thin that it just doesn't look good therefore that's how we're going to do it now i'm going to do this in real time so you guys can see exactly what i do when i'm making a gravel delivery and sometimes actually most of the time when i'm doing gravel deliveries i don't have a machine there to touch it up or spread it with so once you guys do this enough times you get fairly good at it i did bring my rake just in case i need to do a little bit of hand touching up and make my lines straighter let's see how me and old wilbur do with this let you guys see what I'm going to do here I'm going to put it in the tightest link it'll do which is that one I'm going to back it out one link looser see how that looks same thing on this side That should just barely trickle out. Now what I've got to do, once I get down there to that chair, I've got to stop slamming into reverse and start backing up, but swing over this way. And I'm gonna do it from left to right, because that way, as I adjust over this way, I can line my left side up with the right side of the previous spread. Hopefully it goes good. I'll take my rake out of there. That's why it messed up right there. Rats. Well, heavy as that tailgate is, that rake's not coming out just yet. <laughs> but that's okay. I got it pulled up where it's not blocking the whole tailgate. We should still be able to get a pretty good spread. Maybe. That turned out quite well. Let's put you guys up from a little higher vantage point and do the hillbilly two-step. Get this gravel spring.
turned out quite nice. Well, that little part of the job turned out pretty good. Let's go park this truck and figure out what we're gonna do from there. Cause I ain't sure. I know I've gotta get the excavator up here. I've gotta get some fabric up here. I've got to get, what else? Boy, that's a muddy road. Muddy, muddy. I almost wanna stretch a load out right here. Really, it could use it. Uh, let's get the excavator moved up here and then we can go get fabric and we can get started on that one it's gonna be a different video but you yeah. know looks like it was only going to take one load instead of two on fixing that parking area if you guys want to see the little bit of grading we do on the other parking area we're going to take that grass off the top fabric road bond it put a pipe in it's gonna be a lot of fun so hit the subscribe button ding the bell and join us next time thanks we love you guys and i hope you're having a great day it's because of you guys that i'm having a great day